So it all started last year when like this alien meteorite crashed next to a TV station's broadcast tower. Where it just so happens, a bank robber was hiding out. I, I know, what a coincidence. The bank robber goes to check out the explosion. It gets sucked into an old black and white horror movie because the alien meteorite had some type of crazy ability to manipulate reality based off of what was playing on television, which just so happened to be, get this, Night of the Living Dead, dude. So Frank, who works at the TV station, noticed this crazy interference going on. They called his buddy Rick, who is also the broadcast repair guy. Rick goes to check it out and they get zapped back through time. 20 minutes to be exact. And then Rick sees the other him get eaten by zombies. Mind blowing. I know, but wait, there's more. All cell phones are down. So Rick has to fly back to town to warn everyone, but soon realizes these lynching zombies have already taken over. Yeah, people are being eaten alive. I mean, total chaos everywhere. But Frank, the genius that he is, comes up with this brilliant idea to put a virus into the transmitter to shut off all the horror movies that are feeding the meteorite. But they have to do it in person because the internet's dead. So they swing by Rick's house to grab a laptop to be able to transfer the virus. When they get there, Rick discovers a zombie just wandering around in his bedroom. Rick ends up fighting the zombie. While they're just going at it, Rick falls on the TV remote and accidentally discovers that the remote can turn the zombie off. But Rick, admiring his new ability, turned the freaking zombie back on. But good thing his nosy landlord, Miss Peabody, shows up just in time to smash the zombie on the head with her good old trusty frying pan. On their way to the tower, Frank's saving the day, zapping off these glitching zombies. They team up with the sheriff, who just so happens to be wandering around the middle of the road, and all three head up to the tower to save the world. Yeah. There, they're greeted with more zombies, alien space clowns, and dinosaurs. Yeah, dinosaurs. Because that's what was playing on TV, right? Anyway, Freight manages to upload the virus and everything goes back to normal. Oh, and the robber comes out unharmed. The sheriff was happy about that. Then a few days later, the team of scientists find a fragment of the meteorite and it's tucked away safe and sound in some research lab. So that's how Frank saved the world. Call 555-3765.